All right, so in this part of the video, it should be part two. I think it's been about five days to uh, actually mount this pump up to my air compressor. Now, the reason why I had so much trouble was routing everything. Um, I actually got my bull whip in. Um, I've installed my check valve. Uh, the only thing I have now is just to adjust everything. I have to actually, uh, the bull whip is actually mounted, but I gotta adjust it and uh, find ways to clamp it down. But here's the uh, pumps, the way the pump looks like on the air compressor. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna be firing it up. Let's see how it, how she uh, starts up. Oh, so I just caught that on video, guys. <clears throat> As you can actually see, she is actually filled at, uh, she is filled at normal levels. And the thing is smoking. I don't know if you can see that. It's actually smoking from the, uh, from the crankshaft um, or the crankcase vent and it actually just um, it seized it's gone fuck it's filled um, it's filled with oil uh, it's still seized that's not good as you guys could actually see the crankshaft was actually uh, was the I mean the flywheel was not balanced so yeah, I think I'm going to take this back and I'm going to have to have them refund my money. Um, well, not refund, but I'm going to have to exchange it because I need an air compressor. So that just puts me in a bind there. That just screwed me up for a while. Um, maybe for another day because I'm going to have to go take this back, this piece of crap. Come back, put, it, put back another one. I don't think I'll be using this same design. I think I'm going to try out the other pump because I cannot believe this seized, seized just like that. I actually had like a little whistle. I don't know if you guys could hear it on the video, but it's actually still smoking. Uh, it's, it's seized though. It won't move anymore. I do not recommend this, I'll tell you that much right now. I do not recommend that. It didn't even last. Wow. It's filled with oil. I 
guess I'm glad I got that warranty. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the uh, $150 pump. Uh, I actually had much luck, better luck with one of those for many years. Um, th this is going to give me problems just like that. And plus, not only that, it didn't pump out as much as I thought it would. Uh, this pump is junk is what it is. Um, and I should have believed the reviews that were on there, but since I do my own reviews, I guess I had to see it for myself. But really, this, wow, this puts me in a freaking bind because I had to do some plasma cutting. And, damn, I actually have to finish my motorcycle. Gas is going up. I need to get that thing going. And this does not help at all. It's filled with, it's filled with air. Went up to 80 psi. It took its sweet time though. But yeah, this pump isn't. It did not pump the seven. There's no way that it was pumping 17.5 cfms. Uh, there's just no way. I caught a little cool buddy. Check this out. Check out my friend there. A little lizard. It's a New Mexico lizard. It's probably going to go into my shop here. There he is. Yeah, he's pissed too. He's pretty pissed off. He's pissed off at Harbor Freight. Hot guy. There he is. He went to go check out the air compressor. There he is. I've never seen one come up that close. Damn. After I put so much money into this, the pulley. I bought the pulley. Uh, the oil. I hope they refund me for the oil. I will make them refund me for the oil. Um, that's why I bought the bull whip and all that. So altogether, I spent like three hundred and fifty dollars just to convert it to that V twin pump and design. And I, for three hundred and fifty bucks, I could have bought one used on Craigslist. Wow, really? I'm just baffled, pissed, and I don't know. Wish I could just take an axe to this damn thing. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm screwed for a couple days.